Are you bored of plain old thatch and shingled roofing? Then it's time for me to reveal these five creative roof styles for your next build. I'm Jamie. Grab yourself a cup of tea and some biscuits. Let's build. Let's start off with a bit of preparation to make building any of these roof styles easier and faster for you. If you build yourself a platform just below the wall line all the way along, this will come in very handy even if you are in creative mode. If you start off at one end of your roof using the 45 degree beams, this will set the base of your roof at the level you desire, and then you can proceed with the one meter horizontal beams snapped to this point. Hold down shift to stack the rest of the one meter horizontal beams all the way along, and try to get them as level as you can, both height wise and in line. This will take you a bit of time, but it is worth it, because this will create quick snapping points for building the roof with the plain 45 degree beams all the way along. They will stack nice and close together, creating a watertight roof. As you can see, there is no degradation on any of the walls covered by this roof section. This roofing technique works in exactly the same way with dark wood beams as well. Some people may find this a little bit too much detail and too busy for their eyes. If this is the case for you, why not try mixing things up a bit by contrasting it with the plain wood, creating a whole new different look. Using contrasting beams works really well for detailing the underside of your roof as well. Just in case you're wondering, Yes, this can also be done with core wood beams. You can stack the core wood right over the top of the existing plain wood. I reckon that this makes for a nice alternative roof for a log cabin. But what do you reckon? Is this better than plain thatch or shingled roof? Why not let me know in the comments down below. A lot of builders will use ladders as framing to make roofing a lot easier. And then place the thatch over the top. For a different look with the ladder framing in place, you can place the shingled roof pieces inside the ladders creating a contrasting look. For an even more contemporary style, add a few more of the plain beams vertically. Flat roofs may not offer as many options as pitch roofs, but that doesn't mean they can't be cool. If you're looking for a more modern style, then you could go with the glass blocks and stack them on top of the iron grids. Alternatively, hiding the iron grids in between the glass is also an option. A great bonus of using the glass blocks, they will let the sunlight beam through, providing tons of natural lighting. Now you might be thinking the same as what I did, with all the sunlight coming through, how about building a nice greenhouse? I set forth my evil plan to grow super carrots, and breed a giant rabbit army to rule the world, but alas this was not to be. Apparently glass blocks the sky, who knew? Moving on, glass is overrated anyway, let's show you what you can do with stone. To use the blocks it's no good just using the wooden walls, you will need one edge next to stone pillars or another stone block. You will also need to reinforce the stone blocks for them to span any kind of distance. You can do this by either using the horizontal ironwood beams, or what I prefer is the iron grids. No need to settle on plain stone blocks all the way along. You can inlay contrasting different patterns by using the black marble. Place down the pattern of your choice first with the black marble. Afterwards you can get your level of your plain stone blocks just below. As the stone blocks are a bit uneven, quite often you'll find it beneficial to toggle between different corner snap points on the blocks to help you get them level and below all of the black marble. As a nice bonus, have yourself a gander at this. On the underside of the stone blocks, you can also inlay the black marble. To make this cool pattern that I'm gonna show you now, start off with the smallest black marble block and place one as a guide. Using the same block top again, toggle between your different snap points until it disappears into the ceiling. As a guide to drag your block down so that it's showing just below the stone blocks. Go to place another one in exactly the same place and then rotate your mouse wheel by one click and repeat this all the way around to create a nice ceiling rose. To finish the look, pop a hanging brazier in the middle. See you soon and take it easy.